heavy goods vehicles lumbering up and down Britain's highways, the pulse of a supply network currently in distress. Not only are there fewer lorry drivers, but with supply problems becoming a global phenomenon, there's often less to put in them. We deliver everything around the UK. We provide for the UK. Everything what everyone's got on their tables or in their homes. We've, it's been on the back of a trailer. So we got treated really bad throughout the COVID. You know, we're all parked up at night, can't get no food, can't get a shower, and some of us have had enough. So they went and got nine to five jobs or day jobs so they can be home more. As well as those opting for an easier life, lorry drivers from the EU have left Britain in their thousands, many never to return. The fall in driver numbers plus choke points in the global economy mean that supermarkets are warning of empty shelves at Christmas time. Manufacturing and car production are down. Climate change has affected crop yields and the timber market. And one prominent fast food chain recently ran out of chicken. Nick Spellman does high-end carpentry in the home improvement trade that has burgeoned since lockdown. Increased demand far exceeds supply, with the price of raw materials going through the roof. Well, I went to a, a wholesaler the other day. Uh, the timber that I bought there was probably around about 40% more than it was uh, about three months ago. And they said, have you got everything you need? Because this time next week, it's probably going to go up another 10%. Tempting as it may be to point to a simple single cause, the reality is more complex. A post Brexit, Covid, post-lockdown and climate crisis perfect storm hitting an intricate web of global supply chains in which the smallest glitch can affect the whole system. How long might it all last? Here's the view of a senior figure in the food and drink sector. The fact that the UK shopper and consumer could have previously expected just about every product they want to be on shelf or in the restaurant all the time, that's over and I don't think it's coming back. The government doesn't accept that shortages may be permanent. What is harder to deny, though, is the effect on the economy. With inflation hitting record levels this month and a million job vacancies that the British workforce is struggling to fill, post-Covid recovery plans could be slipping into the slow lane. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.